A Houston woman says her car was undrivable after she had her brakes fixed and says the repair shop would not cover the cost to fix it. Cora Castle says she paid the repair store 670 bucks to fix the brakes. As soon as she drove away soon after from the parking lot, her car wouldn't accelerate. She took it back. They fixed the issue for an additional $700. After Fox 26 reached out to the owner of the shop, they finally gave her a refund on the amount she paid. So auto repairs, repairs rather, can be expensive. You probably had that experience yourself. It can tie up your car, your vehicle as well, especially during a supply shortage when it's difficult to get the stuff you need. Falling for an auto repair scam, though, can make it all worse. Consumer reporter Heather Sullivan he is live from Southwest Houston tonight with what to watch out for in tonight's breakdown. Yeah, good evening, Tom. So the Texas Attorney General has put together a list of the top auto repair scams that they hear about from consumers. One of the top ones is that the they will put the, your car up on lifts and start to dis disassemble it before they let you know what it's going to cost. And of course, then you're kind of stuck. Another common one they say is showing you some dirty looking oil with metal filings in it when actually uh, oil from a transmission tends to look like that. They, th they say the shop will give you only a verbal estimate and then charge you more. The shop will say it'll be ready by a certain date, but then of course the car is not ready by that time. The free towing or a free rental car, you're charged for those unexpectedly at the end. And of course, charging you for work that is already covered by your warranty. So those are the things to watch out for when you go to get your car fixed. So Heather, on, on, especially on social media, you get people saying, hey, anybody know where I can find somebody who can do this kind of work? How do you find, how do you isolate a reputable mechanic? Yeah, that's a good question because we all know that uh, reviews online can sometimes be fake. But what you want to do is really just ask for recommendations from people that you know, usually a shop that specializes in your type of car. Uh, then you also want to look for a certification by the National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence, or ASE. You want to check them out with uh, associations like the Better Business Bureau. And you want to try them out first. Just have a small service like an oil change done and ask if they offer warranties for their work. Now, Consumer Reports also has a repair cost estimator. So I put a link to that on Sullivan Smart Sense on Fox26Houston.com so you can see what that repair is supposed to cost you before you go have the repair done. Live in Southwest Houston, Heather Sullivan, Fox 26 News.